Hi, hello, and welcome back to another Skyblock video. My name is Osas, and today we are going to be talking about enchanted lava buckets. And differently from last time, this time we are going to be talking about how quickly you will break even or profit from investing uh -huh. into lava buckets. Because it speeds up your minion, but it also costs money in the first place. So, what's the point when you will actually make more money than you would have in the first place? But before we actually start, a couple of announcements. We are inching ever closer to 1,000 subscribers, and I will be doing a Q&A plus toaster reveal at 1,000. So, if you want to see that, I recommend subscribing if you haven't already. And I started streaming some Skyblock, some other games. I'm probably going to be streaming every Friday at 8 CST, so if you want to join me, you can. And we might be doing things like Dungeons with Viewers. In fact, we already have, so yeah. That's all for the announcements. Let's get to the video. Alright, first off, what factors do we need to figure out in order to find out when we break even with lava buckets? Well, we need to find the price of the lava bucket the number of items per action, the time between actions, and the price of the item sold. And I guess what you can do is if you're tr actually trying to calculate how much you need or when you're going to break even for your minions, you could just follow along as I go through this video. First thing you need is the price of a lava bucket. Now it's usually around 370k. I can check right now, it's 380k. To find your actions per time in your minion, you're gonna go to your private island and then look at the minion when it doesn't have an enchanted lava bucket in it. So you can see that the time between actions is 23 seconds. Then divide that number by 60 and this will give you your actions per minute instead of your time per action. To find items per action, collect everything in your minion and wait for it to mine. So I'm going to wait for this guy to mine. And then when I look inside, I can see that I got two diamonds and five lapis. Now I know that you don't get two diamonds all the time. Um, it's zero, one, or two. And the lapis is I also know is an average of five. So you might want to do this a couple times just to see what average you get, but I'm gonna say per one action you're gonna get one diamond and five lapis from this lapis minion here. Then to find the price of the items your minion makes, once again look on bazaar, so for lapis, lapis is going for 2.6 right now sell price. And diamonds are going for 7.6 sell price. And now that you have these stats, you want to combine them to get coins per time. And we do this with a thing in math and science called dimensional analysis. It's kind of easy once you understand how it works. It's just a lot of crossing out things. So what we have is actions per minute times items per action times items per coin equals coins per minute. And the reason that is, is because you just cross out all of the repeated units, like items and actions, until you get what's left is coins per minute. Boom, dimensional analysis. For my example that I'm following along, it would be 2.6, which is my actions per minute without the lava bucket, times 5 times 2.7. 5 is the amount of lapis, 2.7 is the cost of the lapis, plus 0.5, which is about how many um, diamonds you would get per thing, times 7.7, .7, which is the cost. And the reason why you add them is because it's two different items, so that's why you're going to add them there. And make sure that there's parentheses around the 5 times 2.7 plus 0.5 times 7.7, .7, or else the 2.6 won't distribute and everything will break. Then multiply what you get. I got 45.11 coins per minute times 1440, which is the amount of minutes in a day, and you get coins for one minion per day. Mine is 53,000, about. Hey, you. Yes, you over there. 
If this video helped you in any way and you want to make me happy, I highly recommend subscribing and or liking the video. If you have any questions about the video or any comments, comment them down in the comment section. And if you want to talk to me, you can find me on my Discord. Link is in the description. That's all. Back to the video. Then, to find out how much you would get with a lava bucket in your minion, you need to figure out what your time per action is with the lava bucket inside. So all you have to do is look at your minion without the lava bucket and you can see that the time between actions is 23 seconds. Multiply that by four fifths and you will get your time between actions with the lava bucket. So 23 times four fifths equals 18.4. You can see the time between actions 18.4. If you want to know why it's four fifths and not three fourths, you can check out my video on that. It's pretty helpful and will help you understand why lava buckets work the way they do. And then using that changed actions per minute, remember, be sure to divide that 18.4 by 60. Go back and do the same equation again. I got 55.52 this time, multiplied by 1440, which is the amount of minutes in a day again, to get 80,000. So that's 80,000 versus 53,000. Okay, now that we have all of the needed data, look in the description for the graph template that I made and go there. And this is what the template would look like. On the top, you can see what you're supposed to input for your without lava bucket graph line. So y equals, and then you insert your coins per day from one minion that we just calculated, and then you put an x. And then with the lava bucket, you get y equals coins per day from one minion with the lava bucket. So that would be 80,000 for me, my x, so 80,000 x, minus the lava bucket cost. So in this, in both of these equations, x is days and y is the total amount of money. So for every day of X, 80,000 will go up by another 80,000. So two days, 160,000 minus 370,000, not profit. So, and then your two lines will appear. Now it's probably not gonna look the exact same as mine, but all you have to do is click where they intersect. And you can see that the first number, 13.74 or 704, is the number of days that it will take for you to start profiting more off of your minions than you would have otherwise. And this scales with all your minions, so if you want to do it for all your minions just to find out how much money it will be, then that's how much money it would be. But for just one minion, it'll take 13.704 days for me. And that's really it. And our question has been answered. In math, this is called a system of equations, but you don't need to know that because I did it for you. You're welcome. And with lava buckets out of the way, I have nothing more to say. See ya!